I don't believe that I'll ever find the right words to encapsulate how I feel about this land. With each passing day, I fall deeper in love with it. And during this time of the summer months, when everything is out and in bloom, this burst of life brings me back to center, to balance and inspiration. Somehow in this time of preparation and busy work, I feel as though I am fully at peace. Finally at one with myself, not one with the earth. Working in this way, it gives me new life, a purpose to continue forth, learning, teaching, and growing. Of all the summers past, I found this one to hold something even more special. I had a feeling back at the end of winter, when all my plans to move on from this place fell away, that there was something keeping me here, perhaps a lesson yet to be learned, or an experience my soul needed before it could move forth. And I believe that I am on the cusp of discovering that purpose now. There's something so healing about the lands here, the secrets it tells to the soul, and the generosity it has to give when it comes to growth is unmatched. And spending these summer days immersed in these lands is the best nourishment for my heart that I have found. So here I have some red huckleberries, and here are some nettles. Yesterday when I was out on a bit of an adventure, I found this trail full of wild huckleberries. And these are one of my favorite berries ever, and uh, getting to find so many felt really special. And luckily I had some extra jars with me, and so um, I spent a good three hours gathering as many as I could while still leaving the plants in great abundance. I probably could have gathered five jars worth and still leave plenty for the rest of the nature around, but uh, it's pretty time consuming to gather these little berries, and so I figured uh, one mostly full jar was enough for me. I'm not entirely sure what I plan to do with these yet, but I do need to give them a good rinse and uh, I think I'm gonna make a jam with them. I really wanna preserve them to have for a time. We'll see if they last long enough for me to do that. It's too hot today to make a jam or do anything like that with them. I couldn't imagine uh, having something on the stove for that long. But if I have the patience to not eat all of these before the heat wave cools down a bit, uh, that's the plan. But today I just need to rinse them off. And I also was able to find all of these nettles. Nettles grow in abundance out here pretty much all from spring through summer. And every time I come across a really good patch of them, I've been stopping to pull the fresh leaves off the tops of them. I think I'm just gonna give these a good rinse and set them to dry to have for a tea this winter. They uh, do a lot to make you feel better in those months without sun, and uh, I find they're very replenishing at that time. So uh, building up some stores of that is gonna be nice. Among my favorite parts of this time of year is the sheer beauty of everything. I feel so grateful to get to work with fresh berries, plants, and herbs yet again. And to get to harvest them from the most incredible places I've ever seen sets my being alight.
At times, life here feels unreal. A feeling I've felt ever since I first moved to this place, and a feeling I don't believe I'll ever be able to fully shake, regardless of how much time I spent here. I'm simply spellbound by it all. This past year, up until this point, has been, again, another challenge. I still struggled to adjust to the winters here, and finding my footing after the fact has taken some time. Especially after moving again to the city. I made a goal for myself a few months ago to find balance in myself and in the nature here. And now that I've finally struck it, I feel confident in maintaining it going forward. I've realized more so the importance of getting out to the earth and crafting what is currently in abundance and awake. Something I've always tried to do in my life, but have struggled with since moving to the city. Taking the time to incorporate it more into my daily rhythms again has been the most important step to finding this balance. And I know now that it is the key to keeping it, a lesson among many this place has taught me of myself, and one I desperately needed to learn. Here is the oil I intended on finishing up um, much earlier in the week. It ended up being a really hot day the day I was going to finish making it into a salve, but uh, well, today is the day. I've been letting it sit like this for almost a week now, and uh, it's just time to get it all done. It is really beautiful, though. I feel, of course, there is still more to learn, more to find, and more to connect to. But with this newfound balance, something I haven't had in quite some time, I feel that I finally have the energy to explore all of this and more with the force that I've needed to. To find what is truly keeping me here, and to either root myself in this place, or to grow enough to move forth to something new. To something that similarly sings to my soul, or perhaps with a novel tune. And I so look forward to discovering what the path forward has to hold.
because I have a lot more oil in this than I had originally anticipated, I think I'm going to make a smaller recipe with only about one cup of the oil. And then I'll keep the rest of this to make into something a little later on. Slow 